pretty borderline, eh? It's pretty borderline. I never don't cook lamb right. Four minutes to go, I'm cutting into my lamb, which is not ideal. Hayley's in trouble here, guys. She's undercooked her lamb. You have to get a pan on. I forgot my coconut. Luckily, it's an open pantry. I go back to my station. It's a mission to cut this coconut. I guess I usually use cleaver or like a jungle ball or jungle knife. So I grab the biggest knife, and where am I going to hit the coconut? All right, bench it is. I managed to get it open on the second or third bang on the table. And then using my guns, then I managed to open the coconut. I take the, the flesh out of it and then make like a thread. It's part of like a garnish, but it's still a component of the dish. It's half of your time gone, guys. It's about control now. It's about thinking about all the details. To look back, to taste. Is the balance there? Is the texture there? You've been taught all these lessons. Bring all your learnings to the table today. I'm deep frying some shallots and a bit of chilli as well because it gives a little bit of a caramelised flavour on top and a bit of crunch as well, which is what I think this dish needs. Tim's making kawaii and Leo's making a dessert. My dish is a lot more rustic compared to theirs, but that's how I cook. You've been out there, Nadia. What's it actually like? Oh, it, is, it is really nerve-wracking, but you've just got to get into that space, you know, your happy space. Pretend you're at home in your own kitchen yeah. because then that really calms you when you're in front of food that you love and you're tasting and you're smelling. All those familiar things will help kind of calm you down. Because it's supposed Good. to be enjoyable, yeah, aren't yeah, they? It has to be fun, yeah. or else what's the point? Well, exactly. What's going on, mate? So, so this is just goat's cheese. I'm making it into a bit of a crumb, so I'm frying off the curd. OK, how much do you need? Uh, not much. So OK. About that much. Is the salad going to be warm? Uh, no. no. So, so the kawai is warm, or is the kawai cold? Um, the aim of the kawai will be to be cold. Look, you've got about 25 minutes to go. That is the hero of the plate. Yes, sir. Get that done first, yep. OK? Your vinaigrettes, all those things can come at the end. Sure. Thank you, Al. This is another flavour of the Orient that I'm incorporating. Jackfruit, one of my favourite fruit. It looks simple, but it's a dish screaming with textures and flavours, so that's what I wanted to attain. So my glutinous rice will sit on the toasted coconut and sesame seeds. My nuts are OK. Still intact. Then I decide to grill the pineapple because I think that would be another texture to the dish. And, you know, the sourness also of the pineapple would cut through the creaminess of the coconut. I think I've got, like, seven elements on my uh, dish. I think I can pull it off. I'm pretty much on time, anyway. I'm having trouble. The wood chips aren't igniting how I'd expect them to, and I, I don't want to destroy the bottom of the pan, so I've got a little bit of tin foil holding them together. But it's just not getting hot enough, and it's not quite working. Yeah, it hasn't really smoked at all. If I can't get it to smoke, it's not really a smoked kawaii salad. It's just a cooked kawaii salad. 20 minutes, guys. That's all you've got. This really is the Hillary step of the competition. Sadly, for one of you, it is the last 20 minutes in the MasterChef kitchen. Don't let it be you. I sort of blanch my vegetables in some hot water and then I want them out in some cold so that I can just char them on the char grill with a bit of the sauce at the end. Are you in control? Yes, sir. You feel like you've got everything yep. where you're at? Yeah. So I've got the dumpling cooking, so it's pretty much cooked. You've got 20 minutes left. How much time do you need for plating? Uh, at least five minutes. Yeah? Yep. You know this sort of plate? Yeah. Okay, give yourself time, yeah? Thanks, thanks. All right. So I decide to caramelise the banana in a pan. So I sprinkle a little bit of sugar in the banana slices and then caramelise them in a pan. I think that will be, uh, colour-wise, will be visually appealing also and it adds another layer and texture to the dish. The wood hasn't started to smoke at all, so I'm just going to put it straight on the plate. It's not working, so I think stuff it. I'm going to ruin this pan. I take the wood chips, I put them in the bottom, I crank up the heat, and I can see the wood chips starting to burn. Uh, this is going to work finally. My worry is that Tim is having a nightmare with his with his cowways. He's got to get smoke flavour into there. My advice to him would be get some and, and then finish it in the oven because he can't serve raw cowway in the salad. We've got to get that sealed real real quick. I'm seeing smoke billowing out the side, so there'll be a a lot of people watching from all around the country and they will be pulling their hair out yeah. going, Tim, smoke I'm feeling that car the here. Now it's smoking. I'm confident from here that everything's going to come together. It's going to be hectic, but I'm going to get there. After cooking the glutinous rice balls, I take them out of the liquid. I need to strain it because I need to take the uh, fennel also and put it in a jug and that will be the sauce for the dish. And I'm pretty much done and I'm ready to plate up. Guys, look at the clock. 15 minutes to go. I have a feeling, just looking from here, that Leo's starting to plate already. It's just a little bit more pressure for you guys. Be absolutely happy with what you're putting up and you can only do that by being organised and being on top of the challenge. I keep checking the lamb and it's not cooking as fast as what I would have liked it to. Could have been because I did put it on a 
cold oven tray. I take it out, I put it back on the grill just to give it a little bit more heat through it and then get it resting. I'm just hoping while it rests that it keeps continuing to cook, which it can do. Josh, yes. the importance of olive oil. I cook with olive oil, and I know people who solely cook with olive yeah. oil. I use it in, in so many different ways. It's all about ratios, and it depends on the flavours. It's like trying different wines. It's like trying different fish. Yeah. Try the olive oils. Use the ones that you like. It's all about understanding how you use them. It's yeah. all about that the single varieties, the infused ones are delicious as well. Just the, the ability to add a flavour note on something that really makes things explode. I'm hot smoking the kawai today. I want it in there for about three and a half to four minutes. And check the texture and put it in the oven for the rest of the eight minutes. My pears, I pull them out of the oven and I put them into the food processor and blend them up for the puree. Fish is in the Tim, oven now. Tim, Tim, yep. Tim, Tim. It's gone. Yep. Yeah, happy with it? Yeah, yeah. Finish it in the oven? Yep. Give yourself time to taste everything. Yes, sir. Smoke, sweetness, sour, saltiness. Yep. It's only a salad, mate. Yeah. It better be good. Yeah. Doing a salad is a potential risk. It's almost like, why, why are you doing that on MasterChef? You know, anyone can throw together a salad, but I'm quietly confident in the amount of techniques I'm doing to justify doing a salad. Ten minutes to go, guys. Last ten minutes. Top three. Is this your last ten minutes in the kitchen? Taste, taste, taste. Check everything, check the balance, watch your presentation. I want my dish to look like a modern plating. So I start to plate and I arrange them in a circular pattern. First, I put the toasted coconut and sesame and then put over the glutinous rice balls. And so I have four gaps in between. And in those gaps, I start putting the kumara cubes and then the banana and then the pineapple. I've made a sauce for my veggies that will hopefully on the char grill make them go nice and sticky. You only need it a little bit because you only want it subtle. And the sauce is soy sauce, seasoning sauce, a little bit of oyster sauce and some sugar. So it's quite simple, but yeah, getting that balance right in it can be a bit difficult. Is this your plate or is this No, just, no. Just, that's it's, not what we're doing, it's is it? The plate was the only one I could find at the time okay. when I was bringing it off. Yeah, okay? I think I'm good. I'm five liking. minutes, guys. Last five minutes. Come on. Once the fish has stopped cooking, I, I glaze the fish again, just to give it the nice gloss and sweetness that I want on the edge of this fish. I'm at the point where I'm pretty much ready to start plating. I taste everything, and I'm really happy with how this is going to come together. Four minutes. You've got four minutes. Thank you, Al. At this point, I'm wanting to rest my lamb as long as possible. Then Al comes over and tells me to check it now. I think it should be perfect. My lamb's not cooked. I'm, yeah, absolutely gutted, deflated, because that's a hero of the dish. Pretty borderline, eh? It's pretty borderline. I never don't cook lamb right. Four minutes to go, I'm cutting into my lamb, which is not ideal. Hayley's in trouble here, guys. She's undercooked her lamb. She didn't put it on the grill. It's the only way she's going to get it done. You have to get a pan on. Yeah. Have you got a pan on? I've got that back element okay. grill on. Hopefully, that grill on one minute each side is just enough to fix it. Three minutes, guys. Do you want to be in the grand final? Yes. Feeling pretty frantic right now. I took a big risk with the salad, and everything needs to be executed perfectly, and that includes the plating. And I step back and, and take a breath. I realise my fish fillet's probably a bit bigger than what I was expecting, so I'm going to have to put a few more greens on and a bit more puree and, and things like that. We've got 90 seconds left to go, guys. 90 seconds. Hayley, that is only 90 seconds, yep. girl. On, you can do it. 90 seconds to go and my lamb is still on the grill. I just hope that I've had enough time on there for it to cook right through. The last garnish, I put fennel leaves on top of the dish and then close my eyes and open my eyes like, ooh, is that what I made? 60 seconds, guys. 60 seconds left. Come on, Timmy. Every second counts. Just about over that hurdle. 10, 9, 8, eight 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, step away from your benches. Well done. I step back and realise I don't like the way this thing looks. No, that's the worst plating I've done all competition. I was happy with my lamb in the end. I think it might be all right. Fingers crossed. It's just what I wanted on the plate, and I'm really happy, and I am proud of it. First of all, uh, Hayley, menu description. Um... Thai lamb rack with chargled vegetables and a flare of Hayley. <laughs> a flair of Hayley. Great. Probably one of the more emotional challenges in, in the competition today. Yeah. I mean, the letter didn't help. <laughs> didn't help or did, did help? Didn't help set those emotions off, um, that's for sure. But yeah, just makes me realise why I'm here. How do you think you went? Um, I'm happy with my flavours. I'm just worried about the lamb. 
Um, I managed to cut it and get it on that hot grill. Um, I just hope that that was enough um, to cook it through. Um, I like mine rare, um, but not that rare. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's just a matter of if you like the flavours I do. So, yeah, it brings a lot together. Tell us about this dish. Tell us about what it's all about, where it comes from. Um, never used to like Thai, to be honest. It wasn't until when I was at uni and I'd come home for the weekends. And every time my parents didn't want me to come for dinner, because they had to pay, um, being a poor student, um, they'd go to Thai, so I wouldn't go. Um, but I got to the stage where I don't like this. Um, so I would go to Thai with them by the end of it. It's now something our family do together, and I love it, so yeah. That's why I put the two together, lamb and Thai. You know, Hayley, you know, you're such a bright light in that kitchen. You know, it's, it's, it's a, always a pleasure to watch you when you cook it. It's like, <laughs> you bring a real sort of rustic flavour, and, you know, I call it Haleyanized. <laughs> I you know like I mean? it. It's just been Haleyanized. It's a great word. Yeah. And, um, you know what? Stop crying and believe in it, all right? <laughs> yeah. Right, well, let's try it, shall we? There you go. Great. Enjoy. Walking into elimination, I'm absolutely convinced that I'm going home, and it's, yeah, it's a bit of a frustrating feeling. I don't know how Tim and Haiti went with their judging. If I'm going home today, making this dish, still, you still have to be proud of it. Everybody's cooked from the heart today, and everybody's cooked amazing dishes. I just don't know if mine's enough. Excellent work, top three. We asked you to put it all out there today, to put yourselves on a plate. And you did. It's a terrible shame we have to let one of you go, but I'm afraid we do. Leo. Sensational, complex, delicious. Looked incredible. Those amazing chewy dumplings. Your subtle balance of flavor, and the fennel component was truly sensational. And the sauce, Josh summed it up. Boom, and then another boom. Congratulations, you're into the final. Oh, you won the day. Well done. Thank you. Really? I won today? Can I run out and like scream? Thank you very much. Well done, Leo. Well done, Leo. Well done. I'm so relieved and I'm so happy that I'm in the finals. I'm so happy. To go home now would be devastating. Uh, to miss out on that final hurdle, to be one short of a grand final, it would hurt a lot. Hayley, if Al hadn't told you to cut and check your lamb, it would have been raw on the plate. As it was, it was still very underdone. Yep. And that's what it came down to, by the smallest of margins. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Hayley. You're the one leaving the MasterChef kitchen today. I'm in shock. Um, just trying to process it all. Tim, you cooked a quintessential Kiwi offering. Technically difficult and perfectly executed. Thank you. Congratulations, you're into the final.